Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with Carnades.org. In the next two videos, we're going to be doubling up up to three minute philosophy because the subjects we're covering are going to be a little bit tougher. So this is going to be propositional logic, compound propositions. Now, compound propositions are where we're going to be combining two or more of the operations we just learned about and figuring out how we can create a big old truth table for those more complicated propositions. Let's take a look at the truth tables. So, the key in these is to work out from the variables. You start with the variables, the letters, the P's, the Q's, the R's, the S's, and you work out from them. So, if we had the statement not P or not Q, we would start with the variables, the P and the Q. We'd fill out the truth table as normal for those. What do we work to next? Well, negations are always directly attached to whatever they're before. So we need to work to the negations next. And we remembered negations aren't that hard to do. They're just going to be the opposite of the truth table for the original variable. So where P was true, not P is going to be false. Where Q was false, not Q is going to be true, and so on and so forth. Finally, we're then going to look at those two red columns, those two columns under the negation, in order to figure out our disjunction. So the first disjunction is going to be false. Why? Because those two red Fs. We're not concentrating on the Ts directly under the variables anymore. We're focusing on the Fs. Two falses, that's the only time a disjunction is false. We notice in the rest of the red columns there's at least one true, so our disjunction is going to be true for the rest of those. Let's take a look at another example. So, if we have this example, we should know we always do what's inside the parentheses first. Of course, after we've already done our variables. So we're going to do the variables, we're going to do the conjunction next, after that, we're going to do the negation, because negation is directly attached to those parentheses. Whenever you have two things you're unsure of, of should we do the negation or the implication first, always do the negation, because that's going to be what we're talking about. So, first, we do the variables, pretty standard, trues and false is going down. We do the conjunction in the middle, we remember the only time a conjunction is true is when both of the variables that are conjoined are true, and the rest are going to be false. Next, we're going to do a negation of that blue column in the middle, so false at the top, true for the rest of it. And finally, for our green implication, we're going to take that red column at the far left, and the black column at the far right, and we're going to use those two for our implication. So in the first case, we have a false and a true. That's going to be true. The only place that implication is false is when the first one is true and the last one is false, and we'll continue down. So the second and the fourth row are going to be our only falses. Now, if you want to try some more problems like this, here are some problems in the next video. I will do some answers. Watch a new video every single day for a hundred days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.